Hey guys, Jay, and welcome back to Kill or Love. Uh, this is told me that I found off of Steam randomly, and uh, I left off on uh, day five, August fifth, I believe. I don't really remember. And by the way, don't mind the makeup and the blanket. I was experimenting, and it's freezing. So. <laughs> So we're going to jump right back into this game. Hopefully we can get a little bit further than I did in the last video. Uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. So let's get into this. Okay. August 6th. All right. Damn it. God damn it all. I'm stuck here with nothing to do but lie uselessly and wait. 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 Wait and wait and wait. <laughs> All I can do is wait. Nothing to do but wait. Wait, wait, wait. For how long? Jeez. It's two hours after I've written down those words. Uh, I'm looking at the little notebook that is in my journal. That is my journal. I've got it in my hands. I'm amazingly lucky to have it. Someone had left both the notebook and pen nights in, in the nightstand next to my bed. I checked the nightmare, ugh, the nightmares, the nightstand's drawers on a whim, and there they were. Now they're the only things keeping me sane. There's no TV or books or even magazines in here. I'm counting the pages I've got left in the notebook, checking how much ink there is in my pen. Then she comes in, and I feel my heart stop. Oh God, go away! Good evening, boys. She greets everyone, but she's only looking at me. I murmur back hello. Meanwhile, my hands are still holding the notebook. Clutching it, actually. I can feel the beads of sweat forming on my forehead. The notebook is small, very small. My hands must be hiding it from view, or are they? If she notices, Anna pays no mind. She wheels the cart with her medication. While she's busy with the other patients, I slip the notebook and pen under my blanket, smooth it over, and lie quietly. Uh, How are you holding up, sweetie? Sweetie! I nearly jump at Anna's whispered words. I didn't notice her approach. Fine. I'm fine. Thanks. Hmm. Jack, you don't remember what I told you. It's no good putting on a brave face. I'm here for you, okay? What's this about? Does she know? I know about everything you see. Oh, back up. I accidentally right clicked. <laughs> uh, she leans in closer. I nearly faint. Everything. Yeah? Everything? Yes. I had a little chat with your doctor, you know. Oh, great. The doctor that wouldn't even tell me anything? And he told me all about how much trouble you're having down there. Oh, God. <laughs> as soon as I realize what she means, my te my tense body loosens up. Uh, yeah, that. Stop looking at me like that. It's uh, a bit of a problem, I guess. Oh, sweetie. Well, I'm sorry. Your health has priority over... But don't you worry, I'm not going anywhere. She puts her hand on my blanket, starts smoothing it out ab absentmindedly. It makes me happy though, to see you like this again. After how you acted before your accident, I thought, what accident? Never mind. What? Back up! <laughs> she keeps getting closer! Without warning, she leans in even closer. I feel her hot breath on my cheek. But since you're eager, Jack, I promise af that after you relieve, I'll give you the best- After you release, I'll give you the best time of your life. I'll make you finally forget all about grace. Oh, fantastic! Because I want to forget about my girlfriend. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Her 
Her words are like a slap in the face. I can only stare back. Hmm. So you still care about her? I don't like that. I don't like you! Someone like you and someone like her, you never should have been together in the first place. Please, think only of me. After all, we were made for each other. If I do, if I promise I'll be with you, always. Will you leave Grace out of this? No, that's no good. I can't do that. Just, you're asking that. It shows you're still thinking about her. She hasn't got anything to do with this. With what you did to me, and what... And what I'll do to you. Oh god. So leave her out of it. Are you holding her somewhere? Uh, at least that girl's good for one thing. Thanks to her, you've been a good boy. Even though you're still so confused. Anna, please. I'm close to crying. I want to tear my hair out. Anna smiles again. Fine, sweetie. I'll promise I won't hurt her. As long as you do one thing for me. Do you know what that is? I do. I don't! Of course I do. It's something she's been telling me to do for ages, since before I got- WHAT?! She's like a broken record. You want me to remember everything. Okay. Yep. Oh, I can't wait. When you do that, everything will be perfect. We'll be together again. Forever. So, promise you'll remember. I promise I'll try. No. That's not good enough. Oh god, that luck! You promised you'd try before, and look where that got us. Tell me you'll do it! I, I promise. I'll, I'll recall it all. I will- I will tell my brain to remember. And then my brain says, no, that's not- that's not my fault, that's my brain. <laughs> good. We'll work on we'll work on that when you get out of here. But if your memory comes back to you before then, tell me before you tell anyone else. Okay. Bye bye for now. And she fades away like I keep accidentally right clicking. She wheels out the cart, glancing back one last time with that eerie look of hers. I can't tell her, I already remember. I've known since before my injury. I've known that when we were both children, she... No, I can't tell her. If I do that, she wins and Grace dies. Dear God. And maybe I die too. I can't win by playing along with Anna's delusions. Oh my God! Okay. Oh, we're on chapter two now. Okay. August 7th. I can't just sit here waiting. I got to wait, and I will. But I feel like I can't wait either. I'm not- I'm doing nothing, and it's eating me up. If a stomach is empty long enough, it starts eating itself. Do you know that? Why is everything getting red? I just noticed everything is red. I know that. It's getting redder! If I don't do something right now, I'm afraid I might go crazy. Why was everything red? Why is the red fading away? Wait, is, is the red supposed to like, um, symbolize my anger when I'm writing? Oh my god, that's freaky! I'm going to write down everything that happened. Maybe that'll help me make sense of things. Right now, my thoughts are buzzing together in my mind like flies around the- Flies around a turd. I want my mind to be clear. To do what I'm going to do, and to do it properly. My mind needs to be clear. 
unclouded. This notebook is small, but I think I've got enough space to write everything down. It's not a long story. So here it goes. Everything. Oh boy. Get some food and drinks, kids. Cause this is... He said it's not going to be a long story. Alright. Are you going to explain it? Oh. Okay. We're in a grocery store? I met Anna, met her again after so many years, in the store where I worked. Grace wasn't there at the time. It wasn't a coincidence that Anna visited the store when she did. It couldn't have been. She must have been following me. Oh god. The first time she came in, I was at the cash register. Oh, this is laggy. <clears throat> Uh, she walked straight up to me, cutting in line. An old woman was busy counting her change and didn't complain. Nobody else complained either. Anna stood there a while, staring at me. Then she said, No. No, I can't do this. What'd she say? Can't start. How are you gonna start with then she said, and not tell me what she said. There's already too much of that woman in my life. Okay. I've got to start with someone else. Someone I miss. Grace. Okay. So, then tell me about Grace. Oh, she's cute. Oh, she's so cute! Grace was a girl who worked at the same store I worked at. She was, and is, still is, a kind, sweet girl. She's a little quiet, but that's perfectly fine. I hated her. I hate, I hated most people. Let's cut that out. And most things, I was a real, yeah. I didn't spend time with other people. Whenever a co-worker invited me somewhere, I turned him down. I didn't chat with anyone during breaks either. It was just how I was, how I'd always been. I avoided Grace too, of course. She tried to talk to me a few times, but then I started avoiding her even more. I only took shifts I thought she wouldn't take. The times we ended up working together, I stayed as far away from her as I could. It worked for a while. Then came the day we talked, really talked, for the first time. This this actually sounds like me. I, I avoid everyone like the plague. Um, I was restocking the shelves alongside an old, greasy, long-haired man when Grace came along. I didn't even look at her. Instead, she became very interested in stocking cans of food onto the lower shelves. I waited for her to leave. She's so cute. Um, Dawn, you can switch with me, alright? You can go help Susie. I already did the bottom shelves here. Dawn, the old man, thank, thanked her and left. And Grace started working next to me. A minute went by. I found that I couldn't work in peace. Just her being there made me upset. Me too. I had to say something. I'm fine on my own. Hmm? If you want to take a break or something, you can. I'm fine on my own. Oh no, I don't mind doing this. I see. Can't she take a hint? I thought then. It's, um, it's his back, you know? What? Don's back hurts a lot, so I asked him to switch. Oh, I see. He has trouble with the lower shelves, so... I got it. I didn't do it to bother you, I swear. I said I get it. Okay. 
went on stocking, restocking in silence uh, for about another minute. Um, I know you don't like me very much, so I thought you might think I was bothering you on purpose. So I'm sorry, I sighed. Who says I don't like you? Uh huh. Don't you? You're always avoiding me. Yeah, don't take that personally. That's just how I am. I don't care about other people. I can go back in time and punch myself in the wood, in the mouth I would. So you like me? What? No, I didn't say that. Get a clue. <laughs> just kidding. We didn't talk for the rest of the day, so I thought that was that. She leave me alone, I thought, now that she knows I prefer it that way. But she didn't. I always thank my lucky stars that she didn't leave me alone after that. Maybe she should have, though. For her own sake. I hope she can forgive me. What do we do? Uh, no, don't bring me back to the hospital. Tell me about Anna. <laughs> Writing about the past has been a good idea. Right now, it doesn't even bother me where I am, who I'm with. And thinking of Grace, remembering the way she smiled is giving me courage. She got hurt because of me, so I will do anything to make her happy and safe. The weather was nice out today. The sky was blue. There was a tiny window on the wall, uh, on the wall to my left. I can look through it if I twist my head around. That small patch of sky is the only beautiful thing around here. That and my memories of her. Aww. That's so sweet. Hi, Jack. <laughs> Hi. A beautiful morning, isn't it? Let's give it our all today. Yeah, let's do that. Um. Your uniform is kind of wrinkly, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it is. I haven't gotten iron, so... Why do I keep accidentally right clicking? Jeez, you're really hopeless, aren't you? I wouldn't go that far. I could iron your clothes for you, if you said pretty, please. August 8th. Okay. After that one time... <clears throat> Excuse me. After that one time, Grace started coming up to me more and more and talking to me more and more. It was a gradual thing, just hello and goodbye and how are you doing at first. Eventually, they grew to full conversations. While I say full conversations, they were still pretty bare bones. I noticed how friendly she was being, of course, but I didn't push her away. I couldn't tell why I didn't do that. I surprised myself every day. <clears throat> by not telling her to screw off. There's this bar down the road. I hear it's a good place to go. So, how about we go there? After work today? To relax? A bar. Okay. And when she asked me out for drinks, I surprised myself further by saying, Sure. Oh, pretty. How do you like it here? Is it nice? It's alright, I guess. I don't really know, honestly. I don't go to places like this. Oh, well, I don't either. Not a lot. But I thought it would be fun, you know? Grace ordered a uh, Jack and Coke. I didn't know what to get, so I asked her one too. Jack. Uh, our drinks came quickly. They were cool and presently sweet, but I couldn't enjoy mine. I was in a bad mood. The waitress had giggled while taking my order, and I took it as an insult, or it was something else, just as dumb. Why did I hesitate reading that? <laughs> I can't remember exactly. Yeah. Feels so good to relax after a long day of work, doesn't it? I grumbled. What is it, Jack? Nothing. 
I sip my drink. Um, something's bothering you, isn't it? I said it's nothing. I'm just not cut out for this stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to drink if you don't want to. I don't mean that. I mean, all this. I gestured at everything around us. Doing things with people. Uh, why? You wouldn't get it even if I explained. We're just too different. I've had it rough in life. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself now. I... well... It would be a shame not to do fun things just because of that. No, what I'm saying is it's... just not fun for me. I don't like this. How can you say that? We've barely been here for ten minutes. <laughs> I just know. She didn't seem happy I said that. So you want to leave? Uh, I haven't actually thought of leaving. I just complain to complain. Well, you can't leave. Not yet. Oh, yeah? Yes. If you keep going like this, you're never going to have any fun in life. So promise me you'll at least give being with me a chance. Aww. You want me to stay here longer? Yes. At least another hour. A whole hour? Please? Fine. I can do an hour. Thank you. You won't regret it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it seemed like such a long time. There's a clock on the wall opposite me. I was going to stare at it for the whole hour, counting down the minutes. Then, when the hour passed, I would get up and leave. Simple as that. But then something happened. Why is she down there? <laughs> Grace is having trouble. I had never seen her so awkward. She was stammering, struggling to find stuff to talk about. I realized it was because I was just sitting there, barely saying anything. I was acting all grumpy, too. That couldn't have helped. Back in the store, with so many distractions around us, <clears throat> it had been easier for her to chat with me every so often, a few words here and there. I hadn't had to do much back. I hadn't had to do much back then besides nod. Sitting down, talking face to face, simply couldn't work like that. Oh. After a few. After a few more, after, ah, sorry, wow. After more than a few failed attempts to get the ball rolling, Grace gave up. She sat there looking at her drink instead of me. She was most likely working up the courage to end this early. In just a few minutes, I'd be free to leave. I found I couldn't stand that, so I started talking. I said the first thing that came to mind, no matter how stupid. I don't know why I did it. It feels so unlike me. Both feeling bad for someone and talking with no filter. Or unlike the past me. Maybe I was finally warming up to Grace. Or maybe it was the alcohol. I don't know. Maybe it was both. The reason doesn't matter. What matters is that it happened. Back then, there was a part of me that never relaxed, no matter what. No, it wasn't even a part of me. Pretty much all of me was like that. Like a fist that wouldn't clench. And I wouldn't unclench, sorry. Uh, but now I found I could relax it, little by little by little. And before I knew it, I really was having fun in this girl's presence talking to her, laughing with her, simply spending time with her. What did we talk about? I don't remember. What I do remember is 
what I do remember is what I do remember is that I had more fun than I than I'd had in years. When the hour passed, I didn't say anything. We stayed there for hours longer. I do remember one thing we talked about actually. We somehow got on the topic of family. What's your family like, Jack? I, uh, I can't say. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I see. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I'm sorry I asked. I'm kind of not on speaking terms with my family either. Why is that? That's, um, actually, I don't really talk with other people that all that much or hang out with them. Well, outside of work. I'm kind of alone a lot of the time. What? Really? Yeah. <laughs> you surprised me. I was surprised a lot back then. I never thought Grace was anything like me. But you're so friendly with people at the store. That's all it is. It's not that I wouldn't like to spend more time with them, but... I don't know. It feels like if I let them in, they're going to turn out not nice. But you're different. How are you different? <laughs> you're just trying to get by. I don't think you'd use someone. God. Oh. God. When I say it like that, it doesn't sound right at all. You must think I'm really weird. I'm sorry. No. I don't think you are. It makes sense, what you said. Really? Thank you, Jack. I really, really hope you understood. Oh, I really, really hope you'd understand. And I'm so happy that you do. I really feel like you're someone I can trust. Well, that kind of backfired now, didn't it, Grace? <laughs> we went for drinks again next week, and then once more the week after. We went for a drink. Uh, the week after that, we had dinner together at a greasy little restaurant we could afford to eat. I tried to impress her by ordering wine. I'd never had wine. It was disgusting, but I... I guess it would be disgusting, so I forced my way through a glass anyway. I even said it was delicious. Uh, then Grace tried some. Told me it was spoiled. She teased the hell out of me after that. I wasn't bitter about it. I laughed long. Strange how quickly people can change sometimes. No. Soon we started going out more often, to bars, cheap restaurants, places like that. We took a lot of walks together too. At one time, we even went to the movies. After about a month of this, I asked Grace if she'd be my girlfriend. What? I'm not your girlfriend already? <laughs> oh. And that's how it went. God. August 9th. A few weeks later, she told me that... She told me what had happened to her back when she, Oh, to her. Back when she lived with her family. Okay. I'd known for a while that something had happened. Something she hadn't shared with anyone before. But when she told me what it was... A few of the things she said... No, I couldn't write it. I couldn't write it down here. It feels wrong. It's not mine to tell. What if someone found this journal? Okay. And I never real I had never imagined she was living with such a burden. When I found out I felt crushed. And that's I know. God, I feel like an idiot. And after I told you I had it rushed, I had it rough. 
No, it's fine. Don't feel bad about it, please. You got your troubles and I've got mine. I know, but can't we do something? There's nothing to do. It's all over now. Oh, that was her. <laughs> There's nothing to do. It's all over now. All I can do is keep looking forward. You know? She's such a ray of sunshine! I hugged her and told her how brave she was for telling me. I told her I'd protect her, keep her safe forever, and I meant it. And I failed her, but that comes later. For now, I figured I, would, I should tell her what my own troubles had been. Um, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. It's okay. I do want to. I managed to keep quiet about my past. I had only alluded to things. Now I told her everything. It wasn't a long story. What? Nothing? You don't remember anything? Okay, it's not exactly nothing. But my teen years are fuzzy, and everything before that, it's like, it doesn't exist. What about your family? I don't know. Maybe I had one. I was in a lot of institutions before I turned 18. Hey, Jack. I'll tell you about those times if you want, but there's not a lot to tell. Nothing really ever happened to me. I wish I could tell you everything about my life. I really do, but I can't. Okay. So, basically, Jack has amnesia of his childhood. So he doesn't remember anything of his, of his childhood. His teen years are fuzzy, and now he's like, eh, My life sucks. Okay. That's fine. Uh, did you ever try to find out? About my life before then? Yeah. Oh. I d what was that? Uh-uh, this game is cursed! <laughs> I don't know. I just never felt like it, I guess. I must have known, even back then, that some memories are best left buried. I'm sure I would like to remember if I couldn't. But you're fine with it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Tell me about the time you can remember then. Uh, so I want to tell her about the few bland memories I had. Chapter 3, No More Stalling. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video here. We made it to chapter 3, we made it past 5 more days. We learned a little bit about Grace, but not too much. We still don't know her backstory, um, because Jack won't tell us. But we know about how they met, how they became a thing. And Jack kind of started telling us about Anna, but decided to backtrack and tell us about Grace first. So I'm actually interested, I'm hoping here in chapter 3 that we will learn a little bit more about how we met Anna and how we ended up where we are now. Um, but if you guys do want to see another episode of this, make sure you comment down below, slash that subscribe button, the like button, turn on the, notifica uh, turn on the notifications to uh, get notified every time I upload a video. My social media is down in the description below. Um, and yeah, I... We'll see you all in the next video. And until then, take care. Bye, guys.